Hi everyone. Welcome to Manna for Thought. Today I want you to think about this. John 13 verse 34 and 35 says, A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. Jesus gave this commandment to his disciples right after the Lord's Supper. And it was during the same time that Judas was going to betray him. So Jesus commanded his disciples to love one another the way that he loves us. How can we love as Jesus loves? In John 15 verse 13, it says, No greater love hath no man than this, than a man that laid down his life for a friend. In John 3.16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So the way that Jesus loved us was that he gave his life for you and he gave his life for me. Jesus didn't give his life for a particular group of people, a particular race or a particular ethnic group. He gave his life for everyone. He gave his life for all. The word said that he gave, that God gave his son for the world. So Jesus didn't see color. In the Old Testament, 1 Samuel 16, God told Samuel, he said, look, don't look at their countenance. Don't look at the height of their stature because I've already rejected them. God doesn't see as man sees. Man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. God looks at your heart. He's not looking at the color of your skin, your ethnicity, your race. He's looking at your heart. So my question for us is this. How does your heart see? Does your heart see a particular group? Does your heart look at ethnicity? Does your heart look at race? Are you a disciple of Jesus? If you are, then go forth, love one another as Jesus loves you. Not by race, not by loving someone that looks like you, but it's by loving each other. So if you are a disciple of Jesus, then go forth, love one another, and by this all shall know that you and that I are his disciples if we have love one to another. This is Alison Cornelius. Thank you for joining me on Manna for Thought. Have a great day.